As discussed at length in my video on coral reefs and climate change, climate change is one of the greatest threats to the future of our coral reefs. Climate change has the potential to affect the reef in a number of ways, such as rising sea temperatures and ocean acidification. In 2016 and 2017, around half of Australia's Great Barrier Reef died off due to the ocean temperature warming enough to cause mass bleaching. As a consequence of this, there was not enough adult coral to produce the larvae needed for rebuilding depleted adult coral populations. The recruitment of larvae declined in 2018 by 89% compared to historical levels. Fish are also important to the health of coral reefs, and damaged reefs have a better chance of recovery if they have a healthy fish population. Fish that spend their larval stage in the open ocean use a range of sensory information to find the reef and then settle on it. However, juvenile fish don't find degraded coral reefs particularly attractive. The reef smells and sounds different. But there is hope. A six-week experiment was carried out where the sounds of a healthy reef played underwater on a coral rubble patch. It was found that this acoustic enrichment, when compared with acoustically unmanipulated controls, enhanced fish community development with a doubling in overall abundance and 50% greater species richness. It is hoped that acoustic enrichment if used alongside active habitat restoration and effective conservation measures will accelerate ecosystem recovery. Wow, don't you just love science?